Hey there guys, welcome back to another DVD haul. This time it's all box sets. Um, I was actually planning on doing them, uh, doing individual videos for each of these box sets, but I couldn't wait. Um, I'm actually just recovering from a very bad uh, stint with the cold and um, a little bit of phlegm infection and definitely a slight fever. So um, I was off work yesterday. These I actually received them uh, these a few days back. Uh, three of them are from Amazon UK and there's one from uh, eBay. All right, got a good deal for the eBay one as well. So I actually received it in January. This is February right now, but I was like waiting for like you know to right time to actually shoot them, shoot videos on them. So I will have individual um, videos on each of these. But for now, well, let's just see what I got. Okay, so let's take the one from eBay first. And this does, this did arrive first, so it's Planet of the Apes. And this is the special edition, includes all five films plus a bonus documentary disc. Uh, I haven't seen the bonus documentary disc, but uh, before I got this case last year, I was actually watching the uh, watching the movies. Uh, I watched the first two. I mean, sorry, I watched the remake first. Um, hadn't watched it in a long time, so I just I'll watch that. Then I decided I want to watch all the uh, Planet of the Apes movies, but I still haven't got around to the fifth one. So this is the uh, this is the case that comes in special edition. Okay, got a nice deal. This came I got this for around thousand two hundred rupees, I guess. Uh, but I bought it from an uh, I, a seller in Ireland uh, on eBay. You got uh, thin cases for all the uh, movies. This is the back. So you got Planet of the Apes, you've got Beneath the Planet of the Apes, you've got Escape from the Planet of the Apes, the funny one, uh, well, it was funny in parts, Conquest for the Planet of the Apes, Apes, and my least favorite, which is Battle for the Planet of the Apes. I just found it really funny that uh, in such a short time, all the uh, apes were speaking um, American, <laughs> I think for the most part. I think maybe there might be a couple of British actors in there as well, all right? So that's... Uh, that's what they look at. This is the last one. So, like I said, I will shoot another video. Uh, don't really have too much time right now. I just got 10 minutes before I need to do some other stuff. So, I will do a, you know, detailed video on this particular case. Uh, box set, sorry. Yeah, that's Planet of the Apes. The original one. Love them, love them, love them. Now, on to the ones from Amazon UK. We got the five movie collection of Spider-Man before the recent reboot. Um, so we've got, uh, this is the case that it comes in. The only problem that I, although I like this set a lot, the only problem is like, you know, it comes like this. So you need to open up this first and it's kind of hard to do with just one hand. Okay, then you need to take this out. And that's the case. So you've got, uh, in reality, it's actually two box set. One is the uh, Spider-Man trilogy movie, uh, sorry, trilogy, uh, which is it's starting with uh, Tobey Maguire. And the other is with Andrew Garfield, The Amazing Spider-Man Part 1 and 2. So that's what they look like. And you've got, uh, like, you know, I, I think they're called tray cases. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've got the first movie. Um, very nostalgic, kind of nostalgic. I mean, it's 2002. So it's funny for me, uh, someone who's 42 years old, to actually say nostalgic. But uh, in terms of Spider-Man, I guess uh, the... Uh, Tony Maguire's series is kind of like nostalgic for a lot of us, especially because you've had two other Spider-Man Spider actors coming in after that. So that's the third and the second movie. Okay, I'll just keep this aside for now. You've got the Andrew Garfield movies. Uh, the first one was uh, pretty good, um, second one not so much. Uh, and let me tell you, for an Academy uh, Award winning actor, uh, Jamie Foxx really stunk up the movie. He was terrible. So you've got the first movie, Amazing Spider-Man, and you've got Amazing Spider-Man 2. They're in the uh, wrong sections. I don't know why. But they came like that. Anyhow, that's the uh, five movie Spider-Man collection. Box set. We're going to another one. Huge, huge uh, deal. Uh, I remember now, this is nostalgic. I remember going and watching Jurassic Park. Um, buying a black ticket um, back in 1993 with my cousin. Uh, my cousin Manoj, both of us actually wanted to go and see Jurassic Park in the newly renovated theatre that was Sridhar. And uh, they renovated it just for this movie. Uh, and at that time we really wanted to see it badly. So we actually stuck around, uh, paid a little extra, got the movie on black. And uh, well, 
enjoyed it thoroughly. So this is all three Jurassic Park movies. Um, you've got Jurassic Park, the original, which is still the best. Jurassic Park, uh, oh sorry, they're in, wrong, they're in the wrong order. Uh, Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World, or just The Lost World Jurassic Park. And you've got Jurassic Park 3. Some people don't like Jurassic Park 3. I know the, there's a really, really bad moment in that. But yeah, it's it's a it's a dream sequence. So you can be forgiven for that. But uh, I know it is actually quite funny. Uh, funny, cheesy is what I can say. So that's the third box at Jurassic Park. Uh, again, I will have a detailed video on that. And we've got something which uh, is really nostalgic for me was a huge fan of this series uh, when I was uh, a kid before I even turned 10 years old I started watching the series in Kuwait and we my family loves this a lot of my friends um, from my childhood days we love the series uh, so it's I, and I used to have VHS copies of these uh, I mean when I, when I say VHS copies we recorded them on VHS tapes from the, from TV so this is the original mini series of V stands for visitor victory whatever you want to call it but uh, really awesome uh, mini series, uh, pretty good actually. But even by today's standards, it actually a stand up, uh, stand out rather. And uh, the uh, sequel, just V the Final Battle. And uh, based on the response to these two se uh, mini series, they decided to come with uh, the complete series. Uh, but unfortunately, it only lasted one episode. Uh, sorry, one episode, one season of uh, I think nineteen episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, 19 episodes, um, but they only showed, uh, I remember, uh, because I recorded all of them, I remember they actually only showed uh, 18 of them uh, on TV, but when you get the DVD, I guess you get all of them. So I've been waiting to get this set for a long time. Um, it's very nostalgic. So um, one more thing I want to say, if you want to, if you haven't seen the series, and you want, you're planning on watching this, the original mini series is great. Final Battle is a mini series is pretty good. This one is very really cheesy. For me, it is a um, it is a uh, what do you call it um, a nostalgic favorite. But I do understand that uh, it was you know it was the 80s. It was quite uh, cheesy in comparison to what you actually see right now. And um, one more thing is the budget was really really low. So they had a lot of um, scenes that were re uh, like you know reused over and over again. Uh, that was the whole problem with it and it got cancelled after the 19th episode. I wish they actually had completed it. So uh, that's it. We've got four box sets. Um, three from Amazon UK and uh, one which I got from a seller on an Irish seller on eBay. Alright. So cool. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.